Welcome to a brief tutorial on evaluating journal articles and websites for use in academic research. This video will show you how to critically apply evaluation criteria to an article in order to determine its quality and usefulness as a research source. There are many different types of sources available and it's up to you, the researcher, to determine whether or not they contain quality information. When evaluating a source, there are several different criteria you should check for. An easy way to remember that criteria is the acronym CARP. Currency, Authority, Accuracy, Relevance, and Purpose. Let's go through each one of these criteria while looking at a sample journal article. Currency refers to the timeliness of the information. It may be crucial when looking for a medical article on brain disease, but not as important when looking for an article on a historical topic. Our article was published in 2010, so we know that the research is current and appropriate for our topic, which is a fairly new issue. Authority is related to the source of the information of the article. One of the biggest indicators of authority is the author. Information about the author is usually listed at the top or at the bottom of the article. For this one, we see that the author teaches at the university. You could easily do a Google search on the author to find out more about their subject expertise. Accuracy is important because it relates to the reliability, truthfulness, and correctness of the information. You can check for accuracy by reading through the article to see if the author backs up his or her evidence by using outside sources. In our article, the author doesn't just claim there have been changes in written communication, she provides references to relevant research in the field. Relevance is a very important criteria because if an article isn't relevant to your topic, it won't fit into your paper. Skim the headings and introduction or conclusion section of an article to see the main ideas. Also take a look at the language the author uses. This can help you determine if the article is at an appropriate level for your needs. In our article, the author does not use language that is too technical or complex, so it seems to be appropriate for a college-level research paper on texting and literacy. Finally, Purpose looks at the reason the article was written. Was it to convince the readers of something, to entertain them, or to inform them about a research study? Things to look for in the article include objective and partial language and lack of political or personal bias. In this article, the author clearly states that she is going to provide a case for adding new literacies into the writing curriculum. The in-text citations show that the author is providing evidence for her argument, not just stating her own opinion. Remember that different criteria will be more or less important depending on your situation or need. You will also need to look at the quality of the article as a whole to determine whether or not it is appropriate for your research project. You can find a printable handout of the CARP test on the User's Guide page of the WSU Libraries website. If you have any questions, please stop by Apple Library or contact a librarian.